Oh well, good morning, good Monday morning. I hope everybody's doing good. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope all is well. Listen, I have a word for you today. And what's been ringing in my spirit? Exactly what's been ringing in my spirit concerning many of God's people is restoration. The word restoration keep, keep turning over and over in my spirit. And the Bible says what the locusts and the canker worms have eaten up, I'm going to restore back. To restore back is to bring back, to redeem back, to re uh, buy back, to purchase back, to go back to its original order. One of the um, definitions, uh, one of the definitions uh, of uh, recovery is to recover again, uh, to refocus again. Some of you, some of you've lost church buildings through the flood and, and through things that's happened. God is going to in this year. God, God says that you are going to recover all. You are going to recover all. Um, reminded the story of David. David, uh, David, when he was king, when he was the leader, he was going out to battle. He was at Ziklag, but he was going out to battle. And as he was going out to battle, the enemy was coming in. And while he was going out, the enemy came in and took everything that he had, burned the building, burned the, the place, the camp, but took everything, didn't kill nothing, but took everything. See, many of you, you're in a place where you've made certain choices. You made certain moves. But in you making certain moves for God, the enemy came in and did certain things. While you were doing what God called you to do in your heart, fulfilling his purpose, fulfilling the will, his will, what God has spoken to your spirit to do, to be kind to people, to be loving to people, to, to bless them that curse you, to do uh, pray for those that despitefully use you. You've been sacrificing over and over and over again. And it seems like in your sacrifice, you're empty. In your sacrifice, it feels like you've lost everything. In your sacrifice, it seems like, is it worth it? But I come to tell you that it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. The Bible says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and that are the call. You're called and you're chosen. And you're chosen to receive your restoration. You're chosen to receive your replenishment. See, some of you, your restoration is a healing. Your restoration is a breakthrough. Your restoration is God filling you up again where you are going on fumes. But what God is going to do, God is going to replenish you again. Hear me and hear me well. Restoration is coming. The Bible says also in your desert place, I'm going to cause a river or an oasis to spring up. And God is going to revive you. Even a reminder in the Bible, Samson, Samson had at one time he had defeated 1,000 Philistines with the jawbone of a donkey. And as he defeated all of those Philistines, he became weak and he became weary. And he thought he was going to die at that place of his weariness. See, many of you and some of you think you're going to die at this place of weariness. But you're not going to die. Let me finish with the story and see now. Samson, he thought he was going to die. And so he prayed and he said, God, uh, am I going to die? Am I going to die? And so what God did, the thing, same thing that he used to destroy his enemies, God used that same thing, that same ram's horn, that same horn, that, that same horn. He, The Bible said from that hollow place, water came from it. He drank it and he revived. At your place of despair and at your place of weariness, and I'm talking to you. There's some of you, you're weary. You're weary, you're weary, you're weary. But the Bible said those that are weary, God will give you strength. They that wait upon him, he will give you strength. And so at your weary place, at your discouraging place, because you want to scream, you want to yell, you want to do so many things. But God said, don't do nothing at all, but trust me. Hear me. Trust God in this process, because in this process, God is restoring and in this restoration, you can't feel it now, but it's coming. God is replenishing you. And he's replenishing you. You can't feel it because you're feeling the pain. You can't feel it because you're feeling the frustration. You can't feel it because you're feeling the hurts and all of that. See, but God is refilling you. He's reviving you. He's, he's answering answers. He's answering requests. Just remain patient and remain focused. And know and know and know without a shadow of a doubt, restoration is coming to your house. God bless you.